Step 5. Existing QKD network testbeds. In the previous steps, we have seen how Alice and Bob can use quantum mechanics to discover an eavesdropper and generate a secret uh, random key for, for secret communication. In this step, we will demonstrate that actually these things are not only in the realm of theoretical research, but also have been tested uh, by building real networks. So the very first network that was built was known as the DARPA QKD network, all the way back in 2004. And this included 10 nodes in a network, and it was built in the state of Massachusetts in the USA. And in particular, it included uh, different physical links. For example, here you had a communication over free space. Here you had a communication over, over a, a, a fiber. So this was unlike any of the previous uh, experimental implementations where secure quantum communication in the form of a uh, single photon-based QKD was done only on a point-to-point -point basis, so over a single link. This was the first network experiment demonstrating the viability of quantum key distribution. The next uh, experimental effort was uh, in, in uh, Europe, known as the CCOG uh, QKD network. CCOG stands for Secure Communication Based on Quantum Cryptography. And uh, it was around the year 2008. It launched uh, in uh, Vienna and it comprised of uh, six nodes and eight links. And it involved a layered architecture. And finally, there, was, uh, an, there were many other experiments, but one notable one was done in uh, Tokyo around uh, 2010, and it was known as the Tokyo QKD network. Here you can see the uh, physical map, actually, which places in Tokyo were connected. Uh, you have uh, Hongo campus here in Tokyo University, you've got Otemachi over there, and it reached all the way to NICT in Kogane. And the interesting part about this network that actually it was used for a secure, quantum secure uh, video conference, which really demonstrated the viability of uh, using quantum mechanics for securing uh, communication in a network.